driving down to do the Kings Highway Trail at the bottom of the road, um, starting out from La Perouse Bay, uh, below Kihei, below Wailea. Um, basically, you drive as far south um, as you can, and when you can't drive any farther, you park and walk. The hike is five and a half miles, and it's not steep or anything. We've heard it's pretty chill and that there's a really pretty beach. Um, apparently there's a lighthouse if you make it all the way. So it's supposed to be um, a really pretty trail and we thought we would bring you along. This is the beginning of the trail. We're just walking out of the parking lot, walking south to the trailhead. I don't know if you can see, but all along the trail, there's like these old cultural sites. I don't know what they actually are. That's what they call them on the sign. But there's like a little rock wall. I don't know if it's a foundation or a wall or something, but it's, I don't know if you can even see on here because it's GoPro and it's kind of far away, but they're pretty much everywhere. It's pretty cool. Also, don't climb on them. Yeah, you're not supposed to climb on them. And we're gonna respect that because uh, with the millions of visitors per year, the temperature of the locals, from what I can gauge, is not very excited to have everybody coming here and basically destroying everything all the time and trespassing and doing all this stuff that bums out the locals. So I think it's pretty important that uh, you do your best to, I don't know, travel with respect and kindness and try to give back while you're traveling instead of just taking. We just had a little uh, impromptu yoga shoot. Uh, Probably thinking like, how does Laura appear in different clothing in these videos all the time? <laughs> Why is that, Laura? Um, so, some of you might have seen my Instagram. I have a love-hate relationship with Instagram, um, but it has actually helped me get jobs in multiple countries. So, what we do when we go somewhere cool is I'll bring a couple different shirts and we'll stop and take some yoga photos. And I was already sweaty before we took those photos and now I'm like dying and sandy. But um, it was a really beautiful spot. So now we're gonna keep walking and Alex told me to wear tennis shoes on this hike. I wanted to wear my Birkenstocks 
and I'm really glad that I wore my tennis shoes and not my Birkenstocks. more ruins over here, cultural sites. So I just wanted to say uh, thank you to our first couple Patreon supporters. If you guys don't know what Patreon is, it's basically a website where you can support people who create things that you like. Kind of like the public radio model where like if you find value in it, you support it. We give it to you for free. We let you watch the videos. And if you like them and you find value in it, you can donate to us, basically. You can't go get a sandwich, eat it, and then decide if you like it later. But we're letting you do that with our videos, and I think that that's pretty cool. So if you watch these videos at all, you like them, you find helpful tips, you get to live vicariously through us, kick us a buck a month. It's pretty simple. You wouldn't even notice a buck a month. Kick us five bucks a month. That's like one cup of coffee. You just skip a cup of coffee and you allow us to like pursue our dreams, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, again, I wanna say thank you to Lydia and Jera. You guys are awesome. Uh, it's super sweet to be the, I don't know, the first people believing in us and we really appreciate it. So back to your regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Here's a cultural site and I can get a little closer to it for you guys. Check it out. So we took this little offshoot trail we found and been like just hanging out down here, taking photos, video, watching the waves crashing up against the rocks. It's like amazing. I don't really even know where this is, but I know we were walking along in the lava fields part. We saw a pretty worn trail to the right, walked over here and just, it's amazing. I can't believe that. Hey, there's nobody here. B how different this looks than the rest of Maui. And see, this is free. No guide, no tour, no booking, no park fee, no parking, no nothing. You just park the car, walk down here, and you're in like this beautiful, absolutely amazing crystal blue lava rock amazingness. So at first I was like, I don't know, lava rock this is gonna be kind of boring, but this is beautiful like well worth it and there's not a lot of hikes in the Kihei area or the Wailea area and so um, yeah I mean you're trying to get your hike on you're not scared of a little heat come on down <laughs> just give you a little perspective I don't know if you can really see but this would be some badass cliff jumping is there, if there was a way to get up but if I dove in here That'd probably be a wrap because there's nowhere to climb. Also, there's a turtle out there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him, but he's way out in the middle out there. It just keeps going. 
just keep walking along the cliffs, finding more cool stuff. My mom's watching this, she's probably freaking out. Love you, mother. Now we've stumbled upon some uh, ancient, I don't know, something. I don't think it's ancient, I'm just playing, but somebody built an old wood plank walk thing right there, and there's another one right there. We get across to the other side, so probably walk across that. That's fine. Not a problem. All right, back out to the main trail. We're gonna keep going? Come down if you are. All right, we're gonna keep going. If we didn't mention it already, I'm gonna mention it again, that you should definitely wear shoes or hiking boots on this trail, mainly because, look at this. You're walking in like a volcanic boulder field and Unless you're uh, one of those people that never ever wears shoes like Cody Lundin on Dual Survivor, that crazy dude, then uh, probably gonna wanna put some shoes on with some sort of support in them. So protect them little toes, homie. We made it to the lighthouse. It's not quite what I was picturing. Um, but it's been an awesome hike. Um, we're up on this bluff and it's super hot and sunny, but the wind is blowing, so that's nice. And we're just watching these beautiful waves come and crash into the cliffs. Um, Alex is taking some photos. He's been photographing the ocean more, which is um, beautiful. And we're just hanging out and then we'll start to head back. But I'm really glad we came on this hike and I'm glad we followed that little side trail um, and found that local spot that was Pretty epic. All right, y'all, that's the end of the hike. We're headed back. If you liked it, you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It uh, helps our channel grow and it costs you absolutely nothing. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next week.
Thank you.